Hey everyone, uh, so today I have BB90 at the table with me. I also have BB8. I gotta keep them apart because they do fight. Uh, so what we're doing is we're building a all new droid. Uh, so this is gonna be video one of the new droid. This one will be rolling. Uh, it will be fully moving just like the stage droid. Uh, these two right now are not moving. Uh, so I basically am gonna start from the ground up and I'm gonna take you guys along with me on this journey. So what I'm starting with today is the frame. The frame is uh, Carrie Christie's injection molded frame. So this uh, is really, really strong. It, it basically is perfectly dimensioned so you'll get the movie accurate uh, size once you finish putting it together. It also incorporates mounting holes uh, for the club panels from the BB-8 club and uh, it comes with some hardware. So you get the hardware, the screws, bolts, and uh, everything you'll need to put it together. And then you also get a roll of 50 cents. So I'll show you what these pennies are for in a minute. Uh, but basically I'm, I'm doing this frame because I've done in this BB-8 the uh, 3D printed frame and it's strong, but I wanna go with something a little bit better. And uh, this BB-9E is actually the uh, polycarbonate sphere on the inside and I'll do videos about both of these guys later uh, that way you can definitely check that out too so but today we're gonna start with the with Carrie's frame um, so it comes with 12 of these pieces and uh, I will get some close-up photos of, of everything on here but basically it has slots for pennies here and uh, when you put it together uh, it basically you super glue the pennies in there and then start putting it together and pretty soon you'll have a, a frame. <laughs> so that's where we're gonna get started. So here is the Carrie Christie frame and I will have everything linked below in this video. Uh, so as you can see, it's injection molded. Uh, on here, there's a few little details and I'll use BB-8's antenna to show you. So you have the panel mounting uh, holes right here you have the mounts for your ribs right here and this is where you would mount your drivetrain to um, so eventually we'll we'll get to that but that's a little bit later down the road uh, so as you can see it's injection molded it has all the the ribbing in the back and then on the front this is what's going to be facing out it is uh, extremely smooth there's a couple features on here that i'm going to point out the uh, channels here are for servo wires for your NeoPixels that go inside of your panels. So this is how you would you would wire up uh, for your NeoPixels through these. And then that way they're, they're on your panels. You don't ever have to worry about them. They're gonna be out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Uh, and then in here, if you can see in this section here is where the hardware will go through. So a screw and a bolt and some washers basically we'll go through and you'll attach to your other pieces. Uh, so when you get the skeleton frame from Carrie, you're gonna get 12 of these pieces here. You're also going to get a, a hardware kit. Uh, so I, I love the attention to detail right here, the little BB-8. Uh, so all this is 2.5 millimeter. And you're also going to get the 50 cents of pennies. And I'm sure that's more than enough uh, to put all the pennies in the slots. Uh, so the slots are right here on uh, the side of the panels and basically you're going to super glue these into uh, or you're going to super glue the pennies into these slots. So let's talk about what you'll need to put this together. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need is some super glue. I just get this from my local hobby store and then I also grab some accelerator so that way I don't have to wait for it to dry. Uh, all of these are going to be 2.5 millimeter, so you're going to need a 2.5 millimeter uh, for that, and then you're also going to need the bolt side, and that is also in here, 2.5 millimeter. So I'm going to use those two to put it together. What I'm going to do is show you how to put the pennies in one of these pieces. And basically, you're always going to put them in opposite sides. So if you put two pennies up here, you're going to put two pennies down here, and you will not put any in this side. 
and I'll uh, explain that here in a minute and how they fit into the holes so uh, basically this one is pretty loose I'm gonna try a few just to see what they they do that one's a little bit better so that one's another loose penny but basically I'm gonna take these and, and glue them in there that way they don't come out So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in this channel here, not too much, I'm not going to fill it up or anything. And then I'm going to take my penny and I'm going to insert it into there and then I'll do it again on this side. Now you can see that they fit right in there and you can take your accelerator if you want and just take take it and uh, give it a little squirt here okay so I have three pieces uh, made up right now and the reason I started with three is because these three are going to be attached to each other and they are going to stay that way. The rest of the frame will uh, be attached and basically these three will be how I get in and out of the frame itself. So I I'm gonna go ahead and put these together and show you how they fit. And the reason I didn't do uh, pennies in every single uh, side is because when you do it like this, they can only fit a certain way. And so basically they fit like this and then you don't have to worry about misaligning and putting pennies where you shouldn't. So I got that one in there. Let's go ahead and put this one together. And as you can see, the pennies do not hit each other. And now you can see the frame just comes together. So the next step is actually using the hardware that Carrie included in, in the uh, kit. So you're gonna put hardware here, here, and here. And uh, basically that will be how they are held together. Uh, you can go ahead and glue these seams if you want. And basically at that point, you can never take it apart. But since I may wanna take this apart in the future, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just use the hardware uh, for that. Okay, so the next part is actually putting the hardware into the frame itself. Uh, so basically, right here, you have three points where the hardware is going to come together, and that will work your whole frame into one piece. So I'm going to start and, and basically put the hardware in loose by hand, and then I will tighten it down. Okay, so I got the hardware mounted on these three pieces. So again, this is going to be my hatch or door to get inside of the frame once it's completed. That way I can do maintenance and, and get to my drivetrain. So now that I have the door done, uh, what I'm gonna do next is actually just uh, put together the rest of the frame. I'm not gonna video that part because it's exactly the same way as this. Um, and then once I get that done, I'll go ahead and show you how this door works and how I'll be able to get in and out of the frame. Okay, so now that I have the sphere together, I'll show you why I kept three of them 
separate from the main part of the frame. Uh, so what I can do when I get the BBA built, I can actually get inside of it by removing these. So you still will use the hardware and attach it to the main of the frame, but you will basically write on here and, and, uh, and you can refer to that this is the door, this is how you get into it, <clears throat> and then that way you can maintain the drive that you have in here. So there it is. That is the whole sphere put together by Carrie, and I'll have everything linked below. That way you can look at it if you want and maybe purchase it for yourself. Uh, the only thing I'm not showing is the ribs, but I will have those done uh, in the next video, which are 3D printed.